Okay, so this problem reads, a 75 kilogram man stands on his toes by exerting an upward force uh, through the Achilles tendon. So that's represented here as force A. What is the force in the Achilles tendon if he stands on one foot? And two, what is the force at the pivot of this sort of simplified lever? So what's the force at that location? Um, and we're gonna call that force being represented of the force on the ankle bone. Now, in the picture, it does show that the center of gravity is not above the base. So in theory, he can't actually be balanced. And if you're not sure about that, go back and check out the videos about balance and where does the center of gravity have to be in order for something to be balanced. We're gonna let that slide on this particular problem as it was provided to me. Um, and we're just gonna solve it to find what that force is on the Achilles tendon, and then subsequently, what is the force of that ankle bone? So we're gonna look at it that way um, to practice our torque and force analysis. All right, so if we think about this as a simple lever system, we're gonna draw an extended free body diagram at this location um, here of this ankle. And so if we consider this to be that lever, the foot, the free body diagram of that foot would really look like this. Whereas we have a, cause that's the structure, we have a force at this point by the Achilles tendon. We have the normal force acting up here at this location, we'll call that N. And then we have that force at the ankle bone here we call that force of the pivot. So if we set our pivot point at this location here, that's gonna be the best, because we don't know what that force of that pivot is. So we're gonna use that sort of as our pivot point, makes some sense. And then we're gonna look at how this looks in terms of a force analysis. So we have three forces, the force of the Achilles, the force of the pivot, and the normal force. Now the force of the pivot is acting at the pivot, so it's not going to induce a torque. But the torque of the Achilles, we can determine, and we can determine that torque by the normal force. We're gonna use the lever arm um, way to solve this problem. So how do we do that? Well, we know that between, the distance between the force, so the force of the Achilles times the lever, lever arm of the Achilles. The force of the Achilles, that's what we want to know. The lever arm, remember that is the distance between that pivot point and the line of action. So if this is our line of action, it's this distance, which is given in the problem as 0 0.04 meters. For the normal force, we have the normal force, which we're told is equal to negative the weight, so the magnitude of the weight. So the weight is our 75 times 9.8. Well, I should do, let me be consistent for you. I'm sorry. We have the force of the normal force times its lever, lever arm. So that's 75 times 9.8. That's the weight of the person. And similarly, if this is my line of action, it's this distance between the pivot and the line of action, and we are given that to be 0 0.12 meters. And so I can take the sum of my torques is gonna equal zero if I'm in equilibrium. So we have the force of the angle times 0 0.04, and once again, I neglected to put in those directions, which seems to be a consistent issue with me for those lever arms. We, um, we always get caught, we catch ourselves because the sum of the forces has to equal zero. So our counterclockwise and our clockwise for a torques have to be considered. The Achilles is trying to rotate the ankle in the clockwise direction, so that's our negative. And the normal force is a force in the counters. Try, we try to rotate it in the counterclockwise. So that's our positive. So our Achilles torque is negative, plus 75 times 9.8 times that 0 0.12 is 88.2. And I can solve 
for the force of the Achilles is 2,205 newtons. So that is part A. All right. We then want to look at what is this force P? So then we do a force analysis. We collapse everything down and we draw a free body diagram. In our free body diagram, we have the force of the Achilles tendons pointing up. We have the normal force also pointing up. And we have this force P that is the force on that ankle. So I'm only dealing with vertical forces, so we can sum the forces in the vertical direction. Those have to equal zero. And we have our normal force, which was equal to the weight. Our normal force is um, 735, so 75 times 9.8. Um, plus our Achilles force, which is 2205, minus the force at that pivot or the force on the ankle. And we can solve that to be 2,985 newtons. So real simplistic force analysis, since I'm only dealing with vertical forces acting on this ankle bone. Um, so that we didn't have to separate things out because it was just the vertical forces. Recognizing the torque analysis, recognizing that it's our lever arm process that's gonna be better for us in with the information given to us. Keeping in mind those directions of the torque, the net torque is equal to zero, so the clockwise and the counterclockwise have to balance. We have to remember to keep those negatives in the clockwise. I will keep working on that. When I do that, lever, the lever arm method is not usually my method of choice, but sometimes we have to use it. So I have to also remind myself to pay attention to those directions as you should be reminding yourself. All right, so we can find the force that that Achilles tendon is placing on this system and then the force of the ankle bone itself. All right, good job.